Good evening, brothers and sisters. Well, firstly, I want to apologise for something I put in the last video. I could die. I said Daniel was not a prophet. I That was a slip of the tongue. I could feel the words. I, I didn't know what was going on. But um, people, people was the thought. I could see strange things happening in, in the logarithms. I felt it, and I went back and I was like, "That must have been that video," and I seen it, and I thought, "I don't believe." It. I just apologise, and to all anybody new out there, um, just joining the channel, then sorry. Daniel was a major prophet. What I was actually trying to say was, he got things direct. He was a major man of God, a major prophet. There's major prophets, minor prophets, and prophets of today, you know. And that's that's really what I was trying to get over. I could feel the Lord saying, Satan, get behind me. You do not understand the things of God. A, but I just want to apologise for that. Of course, I know he was a major prophet. We do things on the hoof sometimes that we should really, really analyse. But it's very difficult under the workload to get uh, regular videos out in the end times and get them correct. But please... Don't be offended if I say anything wrong. Just send me an email. Send me an email. Pete, do you realise you said that? And I, I'll edit it. It's being edited that now because there's a lot of good prophecy in that video. So forgive me. Forgive me, everyone. I had to get that out. I'm still shocked by it. It's like letting a swear word go in a supermarket, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway, let's move on. I have, talking to prophecies, I... I've had a lot of stuff sent recently from the Lord, or what I've thought is from the Lord. Let's be honest, a prophet has to be tested, and I don't put myself up as a prophet. I believe he's given me these things for me, you know. Um, but I have asked some stuff, and I, I write them down. I do journals of the things that I feel the Lord said to me before I um, feel confident enough to release them. Um, so I never release anything before I believe it's time, um, but I'm not a prophet, you know, I'm, I'm a watcher. And that's what I want to do tonight because something very interesting happened last night. Um, while I was um, coming through, going through Revelation, um, the seals and trumpets, trying to understand it and, and trying to tell what, uh, no, trying to understand, let me get the words right, trying to understand what it actually means as indeed we all are now i'm not a date setter and the journey we're going to have tonight is together okay it's together please come with me on this journey as a watcher if i'm a watchman on the wall and i think something's wrong i'd say Psst, what do you think of this that's what i'm doing i'm saying Psst, what do you think of this okay not a date but I've got something, something interesting. So let's not go on. And we're going through the sixth trumpet brings the sound, a second woe, okay? So that's a trumpet and a woe. And then I came to Revelation 10, 1. And I was actually highlighting it. I'll tell you what I was doing without prattling on too much. I was highlighting it from one version to another so I could, I could keep it handier in, in that version. It's a, it's a better version to work with. But I came across... The angel and the little book. Okay, that's the headline of chapter 10. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was upon his head, and his face was, as it were, the sun. Think about just a few words. And his feet as pillars. That's not in what I'm going to do tonight, because I'm just going to open us up to, to thinking. Then I thought... Well, first of all, it jumped out at me. It's actually in, in pink. Ah, you probably can't see that. It's in pink. I thought, i better highlight. This means something to me. This is how the Lord works with me. And probably all of you. You know when something is relevant. I don't know how it's relevant. But then I went to Discord. Do join us on Discord, guys. Link in the description. 3,000 nearly people in there. Uh, it's a great way to go. But I went to there and I asked about it. And Mary come back and said, the constellation Purim, Purima is called Angel. Huh? Huh? 
Then I saw another, and I stayed with her, I saw another mighty angel come down from the heavens, clothed with a cloud and a rainbow upon his head, and the face was, it were, the sun, as it were, the sun, okay? Feet as pillars of fire. Now, I'm going, I went forward beyond this back, but I just want to have a look first at Purim as a star, Purima. Let me get this right. I'm right at the beginning with this. Be, come along with me. Uh, magnitude of Purim is 3.65. It's a hypergiant. Okay? So think about it. Another mighty angel. A hypergiant. Okay. Then Mary told me that uh, other religions, I won't say which ones, um, are following this as well. I thought, well, I'd better go to Stellarium. I'd, not, I'd better go to Stellarium. So I did, and I typed in Parima, and this is what I got. Where is it? I didn't even know where it was situated at, but here it is, right on the elbow of Virgo. There's the sun. Okay, so let's see this hypergiant, which is we well visible. There's Parima. Right on the hip. Because remember, the artwork in Stellarium is not always accurate. But right on the the hip of Virgo. I thought, well, okay. Um, wh where are we going with this then? Because I know nothing of the stars in the skies and the st st constellations. I'm a novice. Except for the Revelation 12 sign, which was Virgo. Okay. Now, if we look at the dates, for example, it's in October. I'd put 2021, but I can assure you, uh, in October on every year, 20, 20, 8, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, it stays. Other, others come and go. But we'll go back to October, on, uh, or forward rather to October on in 2017, which uh, the month before was the revelation when everything was lining up if you remember. That's was that. But that's not where I'm going with this tonight. To, uh, in October, last month it was there. In November, nowhere near. Okay? It squizzes round because it's on access. And the ninth, it's not there. The star is. It hasn't moved. Parima stays put. Okay? So let's just go back to the 10th and let's read it again. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, cloud, clothed with a cloud. Now, there is no cloud there, okay? So there's always a thing, and a rainbow was upon his head and his face, as it were, the sun and his feet as pillars of fire. Don't understand that. And he had a little book open. I don't understand, this isn't fitting in, but that, now I'm thinking, could all revelations, a lot of revelation, a huge amount of revelation be in the stars? I don't know. That's why I need help. I'm on a journey with this one. But let me read what that star is named. Some of the names. Polaris. Okay. God's Oracle, Golden Door, Escape, The Bible Beginning, The Sphinx, Neowise, Mark of God, Divine Hand. It's very interesting knowing that other religions follow this sign, study this sign. Now, I, I fiddled about with the time and date section of this to see what happens and we'll move the day. The sun is staying there. Right below, yeah. Let's zoom in a bit. Parim is there. Megastar. Fourth. Third. And then the sun starts to move away. So if that had any relation to do with Revelation 10.1, then it's going to be like this isn't it 
like this. So it's going to be the 10th of the 4th, and you're saying, well, that's gone. Of course it has, but there it is in 21. What is it? I mean, we're looking at the trumpets, at trumpets. We're looking mid-tribulation. We're looking into tribulation. If that was related to that, if, 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 if. Okay, this is just a Friday, a Thursday night in with the family, okay? It's just an interesting topic. Um, and I'll read on a bit further because I'll be studying hard on this. And he had in his hand a little book open. He set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot on the earth and cried, cried with a loud voice, as when a lion roareth. Okay. As we zoom out a bit, what's at the head of Virgo? A lion roareth. Okay, I know that's artwork. But it's the lion roareth. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. Seven thunders. Haven't gone into this yet. This is the beginning. I don't know whether to set up a study room for this. Their voices were about to write, and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up this, these, those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. So we don't know what the seven thunders were. Ah! Daniel, Daniel was a major prophet because he listened to God and stopped when God said. But I think everything's been put out for us. That's what I'm thinking because it's boggling me. We've seen so many dates, so many things happen. Nobody's getting it and I don't blame anyone for watching. That's what we're supposed to do. So I'm not sharing a date. I don't know. This is just the newest study which I will pop up once a week or so often when I know something more about it. But if you would please for me consider that the stars in the skies, the constellations, might be written in Revelation, the trumpets, seals, whatever. They might be there. So if you could do a study and you find it and send it me on, uh, re relevant to this, send it at peatsplace101 at gmail.com. I'm very busy, so I, I give me time. If I don't necessarily expect an answer, you'll hear it on a video first. Again, brothers and sisters, apologize for the mistake in the last video. And I'll just leave you with may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you, and be gracious to you this day and always. God bless.